Israel Get, Benjamin Getman, Aaron Getman, Esfir Getman, Shulam Getman, Gershon Geffelbaim, uh, Yosef Geffelbaim, Mendel Geffelbaim, Pincus Geffelbaim, Fania And for the 17th annual year, Hillel at WVU is hosting a program called Unto Every Person There Is a Name. It's sponsored by B'nai B'rith and Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Museum in Israel. We read the names of the Holocaust victims, as many names as we have of the 12 million victims, 6 million of whom were Jewish. And we're remembering the names and the stories and the families that they left behind or that were all killed by the Nazis in the concentration camps across Europe. So I'm deeply appreciative of the fact that we are here together and that we're uh, engaging in this, uh, in this program. It's one that uh, has immense implications for not, uh, for not only uh, those, of, those of the Jewish faith, but for all of us. Uh, Holocaust survivor Ali Weasel said, um, without memory, there would be no civilization, no society, no future. So I feel, uh, as I've told you, I feel honored to be here with you today uh, so that we can remember. And I think that that's what it is about. It's about remembrance. I would like to thank Diva and Heidi Solomon for the unwavering support they provide as directors of Hillel House. I'd also like to thank Jim Borges uh, for his ongoing involvement with Hillel and its student members. By organizing this annual ceremony, Hillel gives us an important reminder. Names, names are powerful. During the Holocaust, approximately 6 million Jews were killed, as we just heard. Many other people also lost their lives in Nazi camps that we also heard. Each victim was a person with dreams and hopes. Each had a family, friends, and plans for the future. Each had a name. Over the next 24 hours, we will hear the names of many Holocaust victims. Reading and hearing these names helps us to grasp the magnitude of the Holocaust. My family, I can trace my family history back to Germany. My grandmother was born in Germany in 1931. And luckily she and her parents and her siblings were able to escape, but unfortunately many were not that lucky. And by taking 24 hours from noon on Tuesday to noon on Wednesday and reading straight through, we are hoping to keep not only their stories alive, but their families alive because, because of the Jewish strength, we're still here. They've tried to kill us. They've tried to get rid of us, but we're still here, and this program keeps those people still here as well. Al-Mishkavotayhem, Venomah.